Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Digital Doorway. Today we're going to be going over the deals feature of the Sales Hub in HubSpot, how you can set up the deals and how you can customize the deal pipeline and stages. Now HubSpot defines deals as an ongoing transaction that a sales team is pursuing with a contact or a company. So let's say that you have you are selling computers and laptops and your sales team is reaching out to a company who wants to buy 100 laptops. So there will be different stages in the buyer, buyer's journey where you will have to track what the progress is. And this can be done in, the, in HubSpot using the deals feature. So let's see where it is and how you can set it up. Underneath the sales tool, you will find the deals tab over here. Click on it. So this is the deals visual snapshot of where your prospects are in the sales process. Now you will see some a predefined pipelines the first one being appointment schedule qualified to buy presentation schedule decision maker brought in contract sent and contract one or contract uh, or closed and lost so these are all the default um, tabs which are there in the deals uh, settings you can all you will also see underneath the, underneath this one you will have all deals my deals uh, deals uh, one this month and new deals so for example, if I click on new my deals, you will see only the deals that are associated with you. Similarly, the one deals are also uh, shown over here. Likewise, you have new deals this month, whichever new deals have been added in a particular month will be shown. I'm going to go back to all deals and you will also see over here the sales pipeline and you can also edit the pipelines here. Now you can create a new deal in three different ways. First one is by one click, which is create a deal. Second one is by importing deals. Let's say I click on import and you already have this import button over here. If, I, if you click over here, then you can import files into the computer. This is one of the ways. I'm going to cancel this and go back to the deals tab. The second, the first way, like I said, is by clicking on create a deal. So here you can name your deal. So let's say laptops. And <coughs> this is the sales pipeline. Uh, so I'm on the free plan. So I'll have to upgrade to sales hub starter to uh, add my own custom deal pipelines, which is fine. Even if you are in a free plan, you can still do it. You'll have to select the deal stage. So by default, the first deal stage is auto selected appointment schedule. You can choose whichever you want. For example, if you are in the uh, qualified to buy or presentation schedule next week or tomorrow, let's say you can select this presentation schedule. You can mention the amount over here, let's say 10,000. Uh, you can also have the close date. I'm going to put it as February 28th. Deal owner. So if you have a sales team of five people, you can always select the uh, deal owner deal type is it a new business or an existing business let's say new business company associated with let's say i'm going to do a digital doorway again so i can associate it with this company similarly search for contacts whichever contact you want to associate with and you can click on create to create this deal uh, before i click on create i would like to click over here you can customize the properties by clicking here this new tab opens up and we'll be taken to the properties page of HubSpot, our HubSpot account. So you will see that we are in the sales tab and in the deals uh, page. So I'm just going to go back and create this one. So the, the deals page will open up. As you can see, we are on the deals page now. And you can, you have all of these actions over here, which you can take. So if I go back, you will see all the deal stages which were there when we were creating a deal. You can always drag and drop uh, whichever deal you want and you can set it as per your preference. If I want to move this, for example, appointment schedule to the third stage of the deal, then you can do that. You can also bring it back to the top. Similarly, you can rename it. For example, if you want it as just appointment, so you can appointment and you can save it. 
Similarly, you can assign the win probability. How much do you think? So for example, if you have an appointment, let's assume that you want to give this only 10% win probability and then qualified to buy, you want to give it as 20%. You think that 20% is, you, you are closer to 20% winning it. And then as you move on, you can assign win probability percentages and you can then save it. So you can also add a new deal stage. For example, after uh, closed loss, you can, you want to add something else. You can always add it over here. I'm going to cancel this one. So this was in the properties tab where you can set the deal stages. Um, you can also add automation over here, but that's only available in the sales uh, starter uh, hub enterprise, wherein you can set deal based automations in the workflows tool. So I'm going to go back to uh, the deals um, page. So as you can see, we, we have over here presentation schedule and you will see uh, the progress. If I change this to, let's say qualify, if I change this to appointment schedule, you will see that this progress goes back to the first stage. So you will see that, that the, it's updated over here. All the, all the, whatever we updated while creating a deal is reflecting over here, the close date, the deal stage, the amount of the business worth, and you can always edit this one or add anything else. You can also write some notes over here. You can create a note by saying that uh, appointment is, is scheduled next week. For example, that's 20th of Jan. You can also link it. You can insert a link. And there's several things in the HubSpot CRM that you can add or edit. Sim similarly, you can send an email you can log and send an email. You can set up calls and you can log the calls. You can set up tasks. You can create a task over here and how many days you want. You want to set a reminder to yourself or to one of your team members. You can always set it up uh, as per your preference. You can also select a custom date or you can also set after one week. You can also set the time. You can create add some links, hyperlink it. You can associate it with whoever you want set the priority level to high you can assign the deal and do whatever you want so it's very granular you can also set up meeting links you want to click over here and schedule a meeting and you can do that similarly you can set up tickets contacts attachments etc so once you have added this over here automatic what whatever you edit here will automatically be reflected in the deal stage the deal tab over here So if you remember that I had set it to the appointment level over there in the CRM, so it went back to the appointment uh, stage. So just going back to the third way of adding a deal is through your CRM itself, the contact. So I've selected my own contact, digital doorway. So as you can see, we have deals over here on the right hand column. You can add the company, you can add deal, ticket, etc. So if I click on add, and I, I give the deal a new name. Let's say instead of laptops, I give it as, um, let's say computers, or let's say stationary, for example, stationary items. And the deal stage is appointment, that's fine. We'll set it as 2000, close date, deal type is new business and all of these are there fine you don't need to do anything over here my objective of uh, keeping this is to show you how it will reflect so i'm going to click on create and if i go back to the deals tab here then you will see that stationary items is reflected over here so it's not necessary that you always have to create a deal from this tab itself you can also create it from within your contacts, contact record, that will make sure that uh, that item or that deal is reflected in the visual representation of deals tab. Uh, this is just the beginners level. There's more to deals in the advanced level, which is in the sales hub or paid enterprise level. Uh, but I think I believe that for most small businesses or someone just getting started, 
the deals tab will really work while uh, work very well in the in the free tool i hope uh, you understood the deals and how important it is to set up deals so that you can chase your or follow up with your sales team uh, in their actions what they are pursuing with your clients and you can move it from one level to another level one deal one stage to another stage for example i'm just drag and drop it starts simple and if you feel that the deal is one then you can move it over here so that's it for now for this video thank you for watching and please do subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that bell icon to receive more notifications thank you